Hello and welcome to the podcast from almost sort of sunny Paul's Gap. Yes, uh, we're, we're sitting here just past the computer. We can see the mountains that we ran across yesterday. Yes, we're in the cabin. We're in the, the cabin. Caravan Park, the Breeze Caravan Park, which is basically the start finish of the Wonderland run. Yes. And so yesterday we ran the 65K and here we've got our coffees. Yes. <clears throat> that Ron made using the AeroPress and... Which we take everywhere. Everywhere. Even we took it into America and Canada. Yes, we did. Which was very necessary because when we were camping at um, Frozen Head State Park, oh, my God, I, we would have died. Oh, literally. Yeah. Even, yeah. even you know, knowing that we had coffee that we liked was very yes. important. Yes. We didn't have to rely on buying Starbucks or one of those. Mind you, we used Starbucks grind coffee. We've still got yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because ours was better when we came home. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Starbucks is great, but yeah. yeah. Anyway. <laughs> but. but. <clears throat> so here we are, the day after we ran um, the Wonderland 65K, and I thought this podcast episode would just be us um, just chatting about the race. And, yes, it's it's about us and about how yes. we went. Yeah. Um, but it's also we're going to use this as an opportunity to discuss a variety of different topics mainly to do with um, mental strength and yep. um, <clears throat> those sorts of things. So firstly, mm. we've been racing um, a bunch of races for fun. So Wonderland was one of those fun races. Um, yes. And I do recall you asking me during the race, what did you say? I said, so Isabel, are we having fun today? And I said, no, I'm not having fun. <laughs> it was not fun out there. <clears throat> and sometimes racing is not fun. Sometimes and we weren't racing. No, racing. We but sometimes running is not fun. No. Sometimes running is really hard. In fact, running is often really hard. And uh, yesterday was one of those. Days. Yesterday was one of those days. It was always meant to be a training run, you know, in my build up for the while, just lengthening my long runs and using that as an opportunity. Someone else has mapped out the course. There's nothing more boring than doing loop de loops of yeah. the Danning on Ranges to get in a long run. And and the Grandkins are a beautiful place. Beautiful, <clears throat> yeah. but bloody difficult to run. Very, very difficult. As as a training run, no. there was not as much running as we would like in a training run. Yes. <laughs> and <clears throat> I don't mind hiking up hills, but um, scrambling over the rocks I find quite challenging. Yeah. Um, and and I know a lot of people enjoy that about the Wonderland run because people come back and do it all the time. And But I guess I'm... <clears throat> I don't mind technical trail, but that was beyond technical trail for yes. me, yeah. you know, and, and I find it really hard going. I mean, it didn't bother us and we did it, we got it. but we yeah. were a little bit getting, we were ready for the rock scrambling to end. Yes. Let's by put the, it that way. By the time way. we finally hit the trail, it was, a, what, about 45 yeah. kilometres? We'd, we'd, we'd um, had, we'd yeah, had a, a year's worth of um, <laughs> rock scrambling. Yes. Yeah. And jumping and climbing and yeah. these huge steps. My hips at the end were very sore from the That's huge right. rock. So if step. you haven't haven't done this event, I do imagine, recommend it. Yeah, but imagine Melbourne Marathon or Sydney Marathon or whichever <laughs> marathon. Now imagine that rock cram, rock rock scrambling the whole way. Yes. That's then followed by eighteen k's trail. Yeah, that's right. Of yeah. running up and down hills. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's certainly it's it's an, I mean it's a great course when you think about it as a challenge. It is an awesome course. Yes, and we worked our legs hard. Oh yeah, we did. Yep, and um and it was a beautiful day, which was another yes. thing that caught us off guard. Yeah. Luckily, I decided to wear a singlet um because it was meant to be really cold at the start, four degrees. Ended up being like eight or nine. Um, and it ended up being eighteen degrees and sunny, clear sunny. skies. Yeah. Not that we really could see that much of the sun. Like, I don't think we were too exposed. No, but there wasn't, um, in, in most of it, there actually wasn't a lot of wind either. So whether it was, with, whether we were protected or what, I don't well, know. Well, because... the race director, did say in Horse Gap it wasn't much wind. Mm. Um, so, yeah, there wasn't much wind to speak of to cool down. And, and yeah, yeah there, was, there was, you know, quite a lot of heat in, you know, the fact that we're coming out of winter, we haven't had yeah. many, if any, any, warm days. None. Um, so it's, been horrible. it's funny how 
you know, an 18 degree day can feel quite yeah. warm. I know it was like, yeah, it was. <clears throat> I mean, I didn't feel overly hot, but I do think it impacted how we felt. Yeah. Like I, I was, you know, sweating more than you would with a, yeah. you know, 10 degree run. Obviously, yeah. I mean. <clears throat> so, it, as a place, the Grampians are really nice for a hike. Um, couldn't recommend it enough. Um, if you're looking for a run, maybe not the Grampians, but. The as a hike, um, it's beautiful. But like, then, but there was one one spot when, as the sun sun came up yesterday, yeah. um, we were on on top of one of the peaks, and the sun was coming up over the, all the lowlands, looking back towards, I guess, in the direction of Melbourne, and it was just beautiful. Yeah, it really was. Oh, look, and it's a beautiful area, and and as as we we started at six a.m., so it was dark, yeah. and unfortunately, we ran through what I consider because I have done. I have hiked that new part of the trail. <clears throat> that was a really beautiful spot and we didn't get to see it yeah. in daylight, which was a pity, but mm -hmm. there were still plenty of other beautiful things. And the thing is we had to start that early because, as Rowan rightly said, it's a slow course. <clears throat> yeah. And um, he wanted people home before dark. Yeah. So it's better to start in the dark when you're fresh to deal with all that. Although I'd have preferred to run the, the fire roads That's in the dark, to be true, honest. Yeah, that, that was probably more doable in the dark. Yeah. <clears throat> But yeah. All right. So let's talk about how the race went down or the run. Yeah. The run went down. Basically, it was a, it was, you know, us working our way through one problem to another. It was a problem solving was, training run. It was. So, firstly, I have an issue with my calves and um, I've had it for years mm -hmm. now. Um, it's, it's basically nerve related to, from my sciatica and. <clears throat> I get like cramping feelings in my calves and um, and it moves around and it's it only gets better if I stop. Stretching doesn't help it. It's if I stop and and sort of it's basically only my right calf and just lift. Kind of, yeah, you take the I pressure. have to take the take the pressure off. That's why I have to stop because I've got to lift the leg up in the air and let it oh. So it's just a weird thing. And <clears throat> it's been really good lately. Haven't had it for ages. Didn't no. have it in Adelaide. It was fine. Um, it's part of the reason I, I have to start my runs quite slow. So anyway, we hit the single track with people in the dark. So you've got to maintain a certain pace, mm. which, of course, brought on my calf issue. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> oh, God. So um, so then, oh, my golly. Then, um, sorry, I'm having problems with my computer here. <laughs> so then... <clears throat> I had to sort of peel. I tried to keep running, to keep running, but then what happens with that calf issue is if I keep running is it makes it worse, whereas if I stop, it is more likely to go away. And not only does it make it worse, but it makes it last a lot longer. Yeah, it makes well. it last a lot longer. Yeah. So <clears throat> I, I persisted for a bit and then I just had to stop. Um, and so bajillion people ran past us. But yeah, if we weren't in last, by the time we, we started again, if we weren't in last place, maybe we are in second last yeah, place. Yeah, we were pretty close to last by the time I managed it. And then, even then, I couldn't, I have to take really little steps, walking or running, to stop it getting worse. Now, when we were in the bus on the way to the race, I was feeling like a low-grade nervousness in my stomach. And, um, and I thought, oh, does it mean I've forgotten something? I couldn't like I honestly thought maybe I've forgotten something and it's, you know, how you have that gut feeling that maybe you've forgotten something and all, oh. but I had, and so, and what I think it was, was in the back of my mind without me even realizing it, I was a bit anxious about my calves. Yeah. And um, I did a presentation last week on um, mental toughness and, and how what you think about is what you therefore get as well. And, mm -hmm. and I said something to Ron as I'm trying to baby, babysit these calves oh, I think I was feeling anxious about my calves. And he said, well, think about what you said, that what you what you project is what you get and what you think about is what happens. And I'm like, oh, my God, of course, yes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, I'm not perfect. I need to be reminded. So then, because I like to have songs to go with my mantras, <laughs> um, in my head, not out loud because, you know, they're where people, right, I started singing, oh, God, yeah, how does it go? I feel good. Do, 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 do. I knew that I would now. That's what yeah. I sing when I want to feel good. Um, 
and it and it really helped and so what then I focused on because until then till Ron said that I've been focusing oh my god my calves hurt my calves hurt oh this is shit god I hate how this happens no you know all, all the usual stuff yeah um and instead I started thinking I feel good you know <clears throat> And I just focused on feeling good and, and I visualized as I'm running along or attempting to run um, the pain. I like to visualize that pain from the cast just kind of falling off and, and falling off and me leaving it behind on the trail, hopefully for not someone else yeah. to pick up. But, <laughs> um, and yeah. so I did all that and then it got better quite quickly after did. that, didn't yeah. it? Once we got moving again. And, and once you got reminded me to, you know, be positive about it all. Um, so, and that's, that's why I'm saying this talk is not just about the race. It's about how you can use, because it's all fine and well for me to teach these mental toughness skills. And if you come to one of my workshops, I'll teach you all of them, but it's knowing that, that even though you have all these resources, it doesn't mean bad things aren't going to happen. It means that when the bad things happen, you know how to deal with that's it. That's right. Yeah. It doesn't mean magically you never have a tough moment again if you're mentally tough. It actually, it's the opposite. Yeah. It means you you have just as many as everyone else, but you just know how to deal with them better. Yeah. And once I refocused and remembered, um, <clears throat> because sometimes that's all it takes, mm. um, then it was it was a lot better. Yeah. 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 And so we kept moving. Um, and the first... Um... <clears throat> Oh, probably six or seven k's was was quite a climb mm. um to the top of the first first um ridge line and then we we and kind of... it was so beautiful like there's this one bit you climb up through the rock <clears throat> and then you come out and you're on a bit of a ridge line and then there's another climb and people were climbing that and the sun That's was coming right. up and you could see their their silhouettes and it just yeah. and with all the rock every it just honestly I highly recommend this race. I, I know we're going to be saying how tough it was and how much we suffered. Yes. But <clears throat> it is beautiful. It, it yeah. truly is. And it and it's a great way to see the area. Yeah. And, and it is beautiful. Like, honestly, yeah. it was magical seeing yeah. those sites. Yeah. And so, yeah, we, we continued along that ridgeline. Um, <clears throat> the first aid station was at around 19 kilometres. No, it and, was like 19.7. Uh, yes, 19.7. Because he told me it was 19 <laughs> and that there'd be a toilet there. So yes. I was waiting. So, but And it was at 19.7. And guess what? No toilet. No toilet. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. And, and so it was quite rocky trail all the way to that. And then there was two and a half K of fire road. Fire road, yep. Before we linked up to the next trail. Yep. And that was, um, we, we encountered um that's when few, my sock issue happened yes is that what you were going to get to or what were you going to get to then no the sock issue was it was on that oh, part of the trail on the first part was it yeah oh okay i don't know if you you'd, you'd had your adductor first no yeah that was yeah. the next so so, so first yeah. next what happened the next we, yeah we, so we ran along the road for two and a half k so you know we we got our running legs back on <clears> and you know things settled down a bit it was slightly up, so there was a little bit of walking, but mostly we... I, I like to employ the run-walk yeah. um, pacing plan. Yeah, that's right. So, and then we we got to the next spot of trail, um, feeling oh, not so bad, you know, th things were looking up. We'd done a bit the of guy, The guy sitting there directing us had a good laugh. Yeah. Going, Only 45K to Only go. Only 45 Ks to go. Yep. And so we hit that trail and within about... Uh, 500 meters. I got my first cram. Yeah. Uh, my doctors started um, protesting in a big way, particularly my left leg, which um, mm. is my more dominant leg. And um, and you've had problems with your adductors. I have. It's it's been one of those. That's but I do kind tell of the only, him... only spot I do cram. Yeah, and and I it's I said you need to stretch more, but yes. Yeah. I think he just wanted me to give it a massage, which yes. I did. So, yeah, so 21 k's in on a 66 k run and I'm cramping and thinking, oh, no, this is not a good sign. Yeah, so, it's so we, make for a long day. we stopped, I massaged it, and then you and kept then, going. And then, yeah, and then as soon as it, that, and that was actual trail, it was, that wasn't rock, that was actual trail. Yeah. So we were able to run a bit and I actually, and, and I actually think run it out. Yeah, and I think part of, uh, we were discussing it <clears throat> Like a lot of people think cramps are from, you know, lack of salt and electrolytes. 
we think, and, and I personally believe that that's it's not um, caused by that. But no, because more, it, it was quite cool. I yeah, haven't been well, sweating a yeah. lot. I was drinking regularly. So. It's doing something his body wasn't used to, which was climbing up all those big yeah. stairs and over the rocks and mm. um, and doing that sort of stuff. It's it's when you push your body in a way that it's not used to, either running too fast or doing um, that tricky terrain, because yeah. you certainly weren't going fast. No. Um, <clears throat> doing that tricky terrain when your body's not used to it. Yeah, that's right. And so, yeah, we were able to to run, you know, keep moving. Like I walked for a bit, but then it didn't really help. So I got a bit of a trot up and, and it actually eased it. So I think yeah. it was getting my legs to do something they're familiar with was yeah. was was what was helpful. So, yeah, so, yeah we, got, we kept going. We kept going. We got and another then, K or two. And then I'm like, oh, my, my heel is hurting. It feels like it's really rubbing. And, um, you know, and I feel like, I'm going to get a blister, so I need to check it. And what do you know, these socks that I've had for ages, but I don't even wear that often, no. had worn through on the back of the heel and my shoe was rubbing on the raw skin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we're like, oh, we're like, oh for goodness sakes, <laughs> to other words. <laughs> and um, I had some blister pads in the pack. Yeah. So I sat down, had to take my socks and shoes off and put the blister pad on, which kind of, I wasn't sure if it was going to stick because yeah. you know, your foot's sweaty and whatnot, but it, it kind of held on. So put the socks back on, but it was like this has never, ever in my entire life happened certainly where my not. socks have given out. And certainly not 22, 25 yeah. to 25 Ks into a race. That's, yes, that's it. I mean, that, that's for us, that is a medium. That's a short, long run. Yeah, short, long run. So that, that, Like if we go, oh, we're just doing a short, long run on the weekend, we do 25 K. Yeah. You know, but it's like, seriously? <clears throat> and we were just feeling a bit ordinary yeah. in general, weren't we? Mm. Now, in saying that, we've had a, st we've just bought a house. Yeah. So um, we've been, there's been a lot of stressful stuff yes. going on, you know, organizing mortgages and <clears throat> someone to rent our place yeah. and, you yeah. know, all sorts of really stressful stuff. Like, mm. if anyone's moved, they know how stressful it is. And it's a really short settlement, only 30 days. So we, we're going to be moving in like three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah. It's been stressful, not in a bad way. I'm not saying it's in a no. bad way, but stress is stress. It's yeah. been, you know, it's been stressful. Yeah. And and not only that, <clears throat> for myself, I, you know, I've been on leave without pay from my job um, to run my business and I'm only allowed three years. And finally on, I think it was on, Thursday evening, yeah. I Thursday afternoon, I yeah. spoke to him and I made it official and I have quit my job. Yeah, and now officially not a full-time teacher. Yes, with, with a good income. You know, yeah. like I was I was a highly experienced teacher with a mm -hmm. very good income. And now I am just running my business. And that's really scary. And I think yeah. that had been stressing me out so bad making the decision. <clears throat> Because I was still umming and ahhing, should I go back to teaching? It's a stable income. I know this will be my paycheck and, and you know, but it, ultimately it's not about money. It's about being happy. Yeah. And so, but to make that decision was a highly stressful thing. My eczema had flared up. Um, I, you know, mm. I had been a little bit stressed. Yeah. I? And so well, and, and and what, <laughs> what that means is, or what that shows is that, um running is not you're not just dealing with what's happening out while you're running mm -hmm. you know running because it's so physically and mentally demanding your whole life impacts on what yes. you do while you're out there and how, how you feel yeah. so you need to take that into consideration yeah, is what we're saying that's right and and that's basically i think a lot of all that stress that we've been under um, and and what, like I said, not necessarily bad stress. It's not bad things that were happening. It was actually really good things. And yeah. I think it's something to be celebrated that I've left my job and it's celebrated that we've bought a place. Yeah. But it's still... <clears throat> do, do, trying to organise finance and, and, you know, trying to line up all your ducks because there's a lot of ducks that need to be lined up when you buy a property, <laughs> particularly when you buy a property that you weren't actually planning to buy. No, we saw like it once it's... and just... Put an offer in, yeah. and like I'm still like, oh my god, I've only seen it for five minutes, and <laughs> we're hugely in debt now. So, so <laughs> it, yeah, that is just a stressful experience. Yeah, we weren't planning to buy anything. I just happened to see a house on run. I said yeah. that looks good. Let's go and have a look at it. Yeah, 
and bang, suddenly we're bored and it's like, oh, my God. So, yes, honestly, stress is stress. As I always say, stress is stress. And I think that's really um, came home to roost yesterday in that we were, um, you know, feeling it, feeling less than fresh. And I think that less than freshness feeling is because stress expends a lot of energy. Yeah, that's right. And raises your cortisol levels, which fatigues you. Yep. And although we weren't feeling particularly fatigued, it's like I was saying while we're running, mental fatigue is different to physical fatigue. Physical fatigue, you can go, oh, yeah, my legs feel heavy or I feel physically tired. But that mental fatigue just leaves you with a blah feeling. Yeah. And and you can't actually describe it as overly and pinpoint it. Yep. It's just a general malaise feeling kind yeah. of. Yeah. So um, I I honestly think that's what it was yeah. um, because we were both feeling really ordinary really and, right. um, you know, not not sick ordinary, but just... Just low, just, just yeah. low on energy, low on the CBS. So High on the CBS. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so getting back to the race, so we... we so Isabel, we soldiered on. Isabel patched herself up. Yes. Um, we, we got back up and and that was actually a nice, that was nice downhill yeah. trail. Um, to the um, back Wonderland. To, back in, yeah, back into Hall's Gap, basically. So that, that led all the way to the where the merging point um, with the 36. And but I just want to say at the Wonderland um, aid station, Yes, that, that was after that merge, and then we climbed back up oh, the hill to it? yeah to Wonderland. Oh, okay. To the to the to the car park. Yeah, I knew I knew yes. where we were running. <laughs> I was I'm taking a, luckily, luckily I was taking notes of where we were going. Yeah, oh, look, it was so well marked. <laughs> was, Honestly, yeah. Rowan does an awesomely marked course. Yes, there's not a lot of thought. The only the only difference with this race is because there's lots of rocks and stuff. You still have to focus on because yes. you can't, you know, you're to- constantly dodging around rocks and and and, and it was so sometimes, to, sometimes hard to see where the course sometimes went. Sometimes you just have to stop and go right now. Where do I go? And sometimes we would go off in the wrong direction yeah. only because when you've come around a rock and it's hard. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, so we got to Wonderland and saw a few friends there. Yeah. Um, shout out to Kiwi and Tom Dade and Gully. And then um, like EMS. Yeah, Jared. Jared. Jared was like happily patched up my feet. Patched up her feet properly, properly because my other sock was starting to wear through too. And he said the blaster, blah, blister pads can bunch up because they don't stick properly. So he put some proper fixamol over um, yep. like really big strips over both of my heels, and which was great till the end. It was yep. perfect. And he even checked in on me on the at the end yep. of the race. So EMS, terrific. Um, yeah, always. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, and and although the blister pad was fine at the time, I just thought it was best just to get, seeing as we were there yeah. with the EMS there, get it checked out. It's not like yeah. we were running for, no, you know, sheep stations talk, so at yeah. any point there. Um, <clears throat> and so we had a bit of a chat to everyone yeah. and, you know. Yeah, grab some donuts. Yeah, God, the donuts went down, until they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> the donuts went down really well. They went down well for me. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. no, the donuts were good. Anyway, so then we kept going from Wonderland. Yeah, and then we continued to climb up Rock rock Scrambling again um, up to the Pinnacle. Yep. um, And then back down to, uh, I think it's... And and doing that climb was quite sunny and hot. Yeah, well, that that was probably where it was hottest. Yeah, that was where it was hottest. Yep. And then we came and back there was down. so bit, sorry, can I so, say there yeah. were lots of tourists everywhere. Yes, yes. And everyone was so lovely. Oh, you're doing so well, and they'd clap you. And ev- honestly, yeah. everyone was smiling and happy and love. It was just it was. it was really lovely. Like I, I said it to Ron even as well. I was just saying, oh, people are just so wonderful, aren't they? You know, yeah. but it really restores my faith in humanity when yeah. um everyone is so lovely, yeah. you know, like it it just it's awesome. Yeah, they're very, you know. They're quick to jump out of our way. Not, yeah. not that that's required or anything, no, but no, they were just... very quick to jump out of our way and give us, you know, some encouragement and, you know, really make us feel a bit better about ourselves when we yeah. weren't feeling that great about ourselves at the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, no, everyone, yeah. no matter who, who we met, everyone was friendly and lovely. It was yeah. just, it was so, it was just so nice. Yeah. You know, especially after all these years of lockdowns with a lot of negativity around and people just a lot of negativity yeah. i won't even start <laughs> um 
it was just so nice yeah. to see people actually being nice to each other and supporting each other. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's, that yep. really was heartwarming for me. Yep. And then, yeah, as we were coming into the Sun Dial aid station, it's funny because we were we were just chatting, you know, about what, oh, yeah, what things that we had to do and because we're, we're both, we're doing um, a Canberra. Ha- Canberra 100 kilometre Street Chinmoy race in two weeks' time, yep. which is the very exactly week, a week a week before we have. Well, no, well, we'll be doing it Sunday, and so we have to move on Friday. Move on. We have to yeah. be out or in on Friday. Yes. Yeah. So we were just talking about you know what a dumb idea that was, and we should be packing, packing. and and you know and this then, man and his kids were there, yeah. and and he's like. Oh come on! What could be better than running? You don't don't think about packing or something along yeah, those lines, right. didn't it? This is much better than packing. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, we stopped at that aid station and um, <laughs> we, you know, filled up on coke and and donuts. grabbed some donuts. And Isabel stuffed some donuts. No, in no, a... the next one I did that. It was the next one because then the uh, next aid station we uh, got to, right, yes. they were there. In, they were they were there at every aid station yeah, going. I'm packing, going. I'm packing. Right, right through. They were yeah. still and, coming and, in and packing. And yeah, that, that was at the little aid station, and the yeah. sun was. Um, that's when I was chatting with the sun about yeah. the packing, yeah. and um, and they had whole donuts instead of them cut in half, and so I broke it in half, and I lifted up my skirt, and the woman goes, "Oh, oh, I thought you were gonna." And she goes, "Oh, you are," because I was putting it in my pocket, and I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah." Um, <clears throat> Donuts yeah. to go. Donut to go. So she stuffed a cinnamon uh, donut into her pocket. Into my skirt going. pocket on yeah. the on the side of my leg and just, you know, pulled off. It was got yeah. quite nice and warm. Yes. It was like having a warm cinnamon donut. So, then, yeah, and then and from there we we took off and there was another raid. It was kind of strange. It was another raid station. Yeah, which we hadn't, ex- like, expected. hadn't expected. And it was only to, to two be, or three k's up the yeah. track. And to be honest, I have to say we didn't do our due diligence on this course no. because part of the reason we suffered is for some reason, I think it must have been you yeah. said it. Um, we thought there was only eighteen hundred meters elevation. Yes, and there was substantially more. And then later, when we looked back at the website, it was like, oh yeah, whoops. Yeah, there was the website said two thousand one hundred. We got, got two thousand six hundred. Yeah, we got a lot more. Than that. And yeah. so it's still a lot more than two thousand one hundred, but it's a lot more than eighteen hundred. Yes. And we were like, why is there so much elevation? And, and um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so and yeah, so that aid station was a bit of a surprise, and it was yeah. very cl- close after the other one. Um, but it was on a road, so I guess yeah, that's right. That and I said to them, sense. they're going, Do you want food? I'm like, No, it's okay, I've got donuts in my pocket. <laughs> and they're <were> like, What? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and so that so we kind of we didn't really stop there, we skipped straight through yeah, that one, yeah. Because I had my donut. Yeah, because we already had our donuts. In fact, I think because I'd already eaten my donut, so I grabbed another one on the way through. Yeah. Um and then, and then once again, lots of after that, lots of rock scrambling up. Yes, up again. Quite, it was that, relentless. That was up, it that just was up to relentless. the highest spot on the yes. course, which was Mount Rosier. Oh, okay. Um, and that. And yeah, how, what height is that at? Do you know? That was at a thousand meters. Okay. That one. Yeah. So that that was a big, tough, long climb with lots of big steps. Yeah. Um, and you'd sort of there'd be a little break and then it would just start again. Yeah. You'd be like, no. And you'd be going along and all you can see is a wall of rock in front yeah. of you and you're thinking, how how do we get up there? Yeah. Um, and, yeah, it just went up and up and it was it was tough because, you know, like I say, I mean, my legs are quite, quite a bit longer than Isabel's and so she was having a bit of trouble getting up some of those <laughs> big steps. And getting down some of them. Yeah, well, I was having right. to, you once know, we, sit down because I, I thought if I jump off yeah. that, my knees are going to snap. Once we got to the top, you know, and, yeah, it was. Well, yeah, because even 40. though you're going up, sometimes there were little down bits, you know, we had yeah. to scramble down something to get back up something. Yeah, and we were, you know, 40-odd k's in and legs were getting a bit weary, so you couldn't always jump down off the rock. So, yeah. you know, um, so once we got to the top of there and then we started going down and, yeah, some of those, there was one point where Isabel sat down and looked down and was like, I can't do that. I can't so, jump that far. So I had to get get down off the rock first and then turn around and reach up and kind of kind of pick her up and plonk her down at the bottom of the rock. And, like, I'm thinking, how would have I done that on my own? I guess I would have just slid down the rock, like, yeah. um, you know, but prefer it not was, to do it that. It was very, I mean, it was a good, you know, probably... Five, five foot high drop. What's that? Well, that's a bit over a meter. Okay. A bit, yeah. uh-huh. Sorry, so, I'm a metric girl. 
<laughs> so, um, yeah, it was it was a decent drop. So it would have been quite tricky for her to do on her own. Yeah. So anyway, so we sold it oh, on again. Yes, yeah. We and got... we kept going. And your inductor, kept, once we came oh. back out onto the, the four-wheel drive track, where the four-wheel drive track started, yeah. your inductor went again. And yeah. was it then that I said about the sours? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So because you know how pickle juice works, mm. and it makes you like that. Yeah. So I we have sour lollies because when, when we get, want sugar, because at least it's not that constant sweet taste. Yeah. And I said to him, try the sours because maybe it'll work the same as pickle juice. And yep. it did. And it did. It? it literally as soon as I had so like tip two, if you don't two have or three juice. of those little gummy sour bear type bears, sour bear things. things. Yeah. yeah. Two or three of those and it went away. Yep. And then every time when it did come back, you just yeah. have a couple more and yeah. it would go away, wouldn't it? So from there on, from about the 50K mark or thereabouts, um, the cramps came and went. Fairly regularly. Fairly regularly. Yeah. Particularly because then there's, a, a you know, a little hidden spot on the course that it doesn't register on, on the mapping because the climbs aren't anywhere near as high as the rock climbs, but they're very steep and they're very low. Oh, this in is the, the four-wheel drive. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and. You, you know, it's underland full drive and then it's just mm, like this. Straight up, yeah. And so they kind of catch you off guard a bit and, and they hurt because yeah. they're not long. They're, they're actually quite short, but they're very steep and your legs are very tired. Yeah, by that stage. <laughs> and I just found because con uh, concrete, rock is very unforgiving surface, it's like running on concrete. And so my legs were really tired from that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you know, so, I mean... And I'm sure, it, I mean, obviously everyone was the same, yeah. like, because not everyone gets to train there. No. Um, it's just, I I mean, I've done 36K there before, and so have you. Yeah. But neither yeah. of us expected that, like, I couldn't remember all of that no, rock. I mean, obviously also, you didn't do as much in the 36K. It's also, yeah, it's it's a lot easier 20 kilometres into a run than it is yes. 50 kilometres into a run. Yes. It makes all the difference in the world. Absolutely. Yes, so, but we were doing that rock right from the start. But yeah. yes, um, mm. but yeah, and then we um, then then we you know ran along the four wheel drive track and come out through a paddock. It's like an open open field, open it's not, ground. It's field. not a paddock, yeah. It's, no, it's, it's not a paddock because it's not farmland. There. Um, and there was an aid station right there with five kilometers to go, which we didn't yeah. expect either. No. And it was nice. We just got a cup of coke. Um, and then single track to the end basically until the road, yeah. and it was really nice single track. Like yeah. we both commented on how much we would love running the single track if we weren't so bloody <laughs> stuffed because um, right. I was tripping on things, you know, like a millimetre high because uh, I had my ultra shuffle going on. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> so it was beautiful single track, yeah. absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, we were just feeling it, you know. And then um, we popped out onto the road and then you run along the bike path to the end, yeah, essentially. About, for about a kilometre and a half. Yeah, but basically that last 5K, we ran most of that, Yeah, which considering how shite we'd been feeling <laughs> before then was yeah. actually, you know, we were... We, uh, we were uh, able to run right to the end. Yeah, so, and you know, we, we just much. weren't... Yeah, we didn't have to walk it in at least. Yeah. And, um, you know, it wasn't either of our best runs. Mm. Um, but where the... Um, what is awesome about that run is it was such fantastic training for um, mental state mm -hmm. and for learning to and and for developing the ability to run on legs that feel shit yeah. or, or body or a body yeah. that doesn't feel so good. Yeah. Um, and um, which at the end of a hundred miler is generally how you feel. Um, <clears throat> so you know, lessons learned from that is is you know remembering to focus on on the positives and focus on what you can do um and and we just and it was also a really good training for us to see how resilient we can be yeah which develops the confidence in that resilience and it's like i talk about in my workshops is when you're in a race to think of times when you've gotten through tough times mm -hmm. and that will be one of the ones that we'll be able to reflect on and go yeah. we got through that and if we can get through that you know um and we kept going and stayed basically in good spirits yes yeah. You know, other than the odd, you know, oh my god, not another hill or not another rock. Um, but you, but we'll mostly be able, able to suffer in silence. Yeah, that's my um, that's my special skill: yes, suffering in silence. Suffering in silence. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so you know, um, I think we 
we really did um, learn a lot and develop really good resilience skills and um, that sort of thing. We also, um, I've only just started using 32 GI, mm -hmm. which I highly recommend. And um, and really, that was a training run that I wanted to test it at full strength and see yeah. how my stomach coped with that. And it was awesome. Yeah. We, and you started using this too. Because 32 GI was used by the aid stations mm. as well. So I tried some. Yeah, and I'd find out I'd gone to we'd gone to the Diamond Creek yeah. Runners Market night. That's where we saw Magnus with the 32 GI. I had a taste. I thought that's awesome. Bought some. Yeah. And um I'd used it a little bit in a run, but it wasn't long enough to really know. And you did, hadn't got the mix right. Yeah, so. I'd, I'd made it two weeks. So yeah. this time <clears throat> We made it the correct strength and then um and it was fantastic like because i've been having a lot of trouble with food and um just it just i have a very sensitive stomach i have a lot of allergies and all that sort of or not allergies intolerances mm -hmm. and that sort of stuff so um so the difference is the we we were previously using ultima um which is just a electrolyte. electrolyte it's not there's no calories and normally so. i do say keep your calories out of your fluids but when you cannot eat food, you're going to have to consume yeah. it somehow. So this is what I'm now at. Okay. But I still have it in a bottle. So I, that's the thing. You've got to have yeah. it in a bottle so you know exactly how much. You can't have it in your pack because you don't know how much you're consuming. Yeah. <clears throat> I knew with my 500 mils bottle, I can't remember the exact amounts, but, you know, yeah. I was having the right amount of carbs. And I had pretty Come much on. nearly three bottles of that. Yeah. And um, that's quite like having quite a few gels. And I had... The Morton gels as well, they went down easy because they're just like having a big booger in your mouth and it just <laughs> whoop, slides down. And it was just, I mean, they're gross, but they're great. Yeah. Gross but great. Gross but great. Um, so, you know, there was a lot learnt in that run. Another thing I learned is check all of my freaking socks. Yes. And make it, see, but this is the thing. You become complacent the longer mm. you've been running. Yeah. And you just start doing things. I've never and ever thought to check my socks because mm. I've never had a problem with them. Now I'm going to be. Yeah. So, you know, and um, there was a lot learned. Yeah. And I think you need to remember that even your bad runs are great runs. Mm. And they're great runs because that one, we got a lot out of it. We did. You know, and we got the 65 Ks in. We saw some beautiful sights, but we also learned so much. We strengthened our mental toughness muscle, yep. um, our resilience muscle, and we saw amazing people at sight. So it was really a fantastic run. As, as much as the, the running wasn't feeling great, but it was actually a great day. Like it wasn't awesome. We, we we had a we were in a wonderful area. We saw some wonderful people. We we saw some friends out on the course. Yeah. Um it, it was a great day. It just wasn't a great running day. It just wasn't the day we expected. Yeah. I had something completely different in my mind of, you know, woo, tripping through the <laughs> rock fields and oh isn't this fun. And and it wasn't that, but it was still a very valuable, extremely valuable experience. And <clears throat> And I highly recommend the race. Don't mm. get me wrong at all that because we find it difficult that we don't, I mean, but difficult is good, yeah. you know. And and it was like we were saying at the end is we we're talking to someone, running is hard. And yeah. you have to accept that. And you can be, oh, running's hard. This is shit. Or running is hard. How awesome is it that it's hard? Yeah. We wouldn't do, and when I say we, I'm meaning you as well, you the listener. We wouldn't do this <clears throat> if it was easy. Like what would be the point? Yeah. There's got to be a challenge. There's got to be some challenges in life. The, the modern world is is set up to make life as easy as possible, you know, yeah. and the human condition needs challenge. We need challenge as human beings, and, and this is an awesome way to get it in a controlled environment yeah. because, really, we were never too far from an aid station and yeah. we were 100% safe, but it was still a good challenge. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and, yeah. you know... I, I, that's why I love running because life is easy in in the scheme of things. Easy, I know life's hard, but you know what I mean. And and this is a great challenge. And yesterday was an example of it being a great challenge, and us overcoming that challenge. So that's actually what yeah. we get into it for. So it was the perfect day. Yep, it was. Yeah, and, <laughs> yeah, that's right. And we got it done. And you know, you still, no matter how crappy the day is, you still get those great feelings once you finished. 
Now, I wouldn't say I did. I was getting the great feeling I was getting was my glute was cramping. <laughs> so I'm hobbling back to the caravan. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the walk. Yes, once we finish the race. Yeah, um, like a half path the walk? We're probably staying. Uh, 750 metres? No. no, no, no. More like 400 metres. Oh. It's not far. I was going to say a K because it no, felt like absolutely that. Absolutely not. No, it's. We're, I we're wanted just Ron the, to go get the caravan. We're in the, the caravan other. park directly across the road from where we finished. and we're, But we're at the far. Back corner of the yeah, caravan up park, a little so we had to walk through the caravan park. Yeah, and we got halfway halfway back to the cabin, and Samuel's <laughs> glutes started cramping. So she was doubled over next to the road, and this lovely couple <laughs> drove past. They weren't in the race. They weren't. They drove the past, and then they, they slammed on the brakes yeah. and reversed back to us. <laughs> reversed back to us to make sure everything was okay. Uh, I thought they were going to offer us a lift. Yeah, no, they didn't. <laughs> Mind you, yeah, they, they could have only offered us a lift 50 metres because <laughs> then we had to leave the road anyway. True, true. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, um, well. But, yeah, I think one of the hardest parts of the whole day was the walk. Oh, my God, the walk back. The cabin, and it was only about 400 metres. And, and it's funny because you can keep going and you're fine and your body's fine. And my, my, my glutes were fine. But as soon as I stop, it's like, ah, <laughs> everything cramped up. Yeah. But, um. Yeah, we had a we had a spa bath here in the okay. in the cabin. So we had a spa bath because yeah. oh my god, my legs needed that. <laughs> so yeah, so it was a great yeah. it was a great day out. And then, and then last night we had dinner with some friends. Yeah, you know, a group of us at, at, at the, the pub. pub. And so we had some so wine. We had, a, had, a wine, had some wine. Had a nice chat. Yeah. And it was you know it was a good end to the day. Yeah. So what an awesome weekend. Yeah. So now <clears throat> we've got Canberra in two weeks. So this week will be a recovery week, and then we'll have a takeaway. away. Yes. So two so, days coming up. Yeah, but then we've also got a, a heap of packing. Yes. To, I mean, we've got to start boxing. Think, oh, my yeah. God, I don't even think about it. <laughs> I'm getting stressed. I can just feel it. We've got to start. Because, yeah. like, we've literally done nothing, and we move in basically two and a half weeks. Yeah. Okay. Don't, and, think, it, don't think about it. Don't think about it. It'll happen. We have to think about it. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, so we've got to do that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, what I called a ramble cast, because we're just rambling, but it's, it still has a purpose. Yes. I'm um, just watching a kangaroo, kangaroo hop by. by. Um, so, you know, embrace those tough races because they are so good for you. And, yes, we didn't get the time, like, we knew we weren't running, racing to, to win, but we didn't think we'd be that slow. But that's okay. We thought we might be out there for maybe, you nine, know, nine to ten, 10 hours, hours, but we were out there for 11. Yeah. So, and Yeah, yeah and then uh, sort of through the race I said to Ron, I think we're going to be 10 to 11 hours. And he's like, oh, yeah, probably closer to 10. I'm like, I think closer to 11, <laughs> quite frankly. And guess what? It was almost spot on 11. Yeah. So, But that's okay <laughs> because, you know, <clears throat> you've got to – Remember that not every run is going to be awesome. Yeah. The human body is not always, you can't be at your peak all the time. It's actually physically impo impossible. Even the world's top athletes know that they're not at their peak every time. Yeah. <clears throat> or it can't be at their peak all the time. Yeah. You only peak for certain races. That's why if you want to race more often, they can't all be peak races. That's why <clears throat> we're doing these for fun because I can't, we can't peak now and in two weeks at Canberra. And then, yeah. you know, so these are, we think of them as training runs. So we get a long run in, it's a catered long run yeah. and someone else has mapped the course and, and there's medical services out there in case we need. So how awesome mm. is that for a long run? Yeah, that's right. So that's why we're doing it. And, and that is the purpose of these. You can't run all of them that many hard. And I just want to experience more races and yeah. do more races. So that's what we're doing. Um, so just, Embrace those difficult runs. And if it turns out that the difficult run happens to be your run that was your peak race, it's happened to me before too. And once again, you've got to go, well, it is what it is. This is what I've been given on the day. And um, today, instead of my child, you know, me aiming for this time, I'm going to be, I'm just going to overcome myself and, and keep going in spite of wanting to stop. Because remember, DNFing can become a habit. <clears throat> so. You know, it would have been easy for us to go, oh, we're feeling shit, let's just polite. Yeah. But no, don't ever polite just because it. I know in the moment it feels so hard and how am I ever going to keep going? Keep going because you will be, even though, you know, oh, I don't want to, what's the point in keeping going? I'm going to be hours over my time. But at least you finished. That's right. And you I mean, did it. We weren't injured. We There was yeah. nothing, nothing 
physically stopping us from finishing. No. The only thing that would have stopped us was our mental strength. That's right. So that, yeah. And, and so just think that, well, this is going to be a race where I really develop my mental strength muscle mm. and, and look at it in that way and find the positives that way. And I think then you will find that you can get through and you'll be so much more proud of yourselves. Like I'm proud that we kept going. Yeah, and we've got the medals. The medals to prove it. <clears throat> there the, we go. That's the medal. You've got it wrong the wrong way. Oh, and this thing spins. Yes. Ooh. Sorry for and, all the people thing, listening. Just the only, imagine it. The only thing I'm not happy about is that it says 60. Should say 65 say today. 60, well, no. Oh, I got 66 on mine. Rowan said 65 so, today, and I think I got very. So I, I think it's I think it's actually quite wrong when race when race directors charge you GST. Yes, because <laughs> we distance. got we got an extra 10 percent on our 60. That's but that's like extra value for our money. <laughs> I'd um, rather do without the GST on a on a, on the length of a run. <laughs> so anyway, embrace your embrace the suck basically embrace yeah. the sucky runs because they are still highly valuable. Even if it just happens on a run, like you you, you right run that you. The thing is, you can't expect every run, every long run to go awesome. You do a long run nearly every week, mm. or you should be, and it's like <clears throat> some of them are going to suck, and sometimes yeah. it just sucks. But that's running, and like I said, if it wasn't, if it was easy, what would be the point? So yeah. think of those challenging runs as this is what I'm doing it for is to to prove to myself I can get beyond this. Mm-hmm. So yeah. yes, you know, there's still value in even the hard runs that don't go as planned, and that was one of them. And <clears throat> who knows how camp will go? Hopefully better. Hopefully we'll be feeling better. Well, Although well, one thing is, God knows we'll be moving. So I don't know. One thing's guaranteed: <laughs> it's a completely different race. Yeah. Uh, it's it's much flatter. It's there's a lot of that in and of itself provides yeah, a challenge. There's because... a lot of road slash footpath, I, I believe. Oh, okay. Um, but also the the trail is, I think, more gravel. Yes. Gravel so definitely, trail. we won't be so... <clears throat> whinging about the technicality. We'll probably run whinging about the runability. Yes, because it kind of where's the hill stuff like it, it does cut through mm. the suburbs quite a bit. So I believe it's either. Well, I don't know for sure, but because the mapping, it, I don't know Canberra enough to know where, but I think it'll be bike trail a fair bit rather than... Yeah, you know, so we're doing this for um, Run Against Violence. So um, yep. that is the purpose of that 100K run. Normally I wouldn't do a 100K run in a build-up for race. I don't think you need to run and run that long. But we are doing it um, because I love to support Run Against Violence and... Ron, of course, yeah. happy to to join in with that. And um, we've done it the last two years, but normally had, lockdown had to do it virtually. Yeah, <laughs> um, all right, don't so, get it started. So, but we've always done it with a with a group from Canberra. Yes, so and hence so, the Canberra. So that's why yeah. we're actually going to Canberra to run it with yeah. them because I've of got a few people... friends in Canberra, so we're going to be catching up with Zoe and Albury. Well, no, we're not going to see Zoe and Albury. We're just going to stay at her place. Yeah. They'll be away on holiday. Yeah. Then we're going to catch up with Pam Muston, stay at her place in Canberra and catch up with all the other Revs yeah. people <clears throat> in Canberra at the race. Who we so, know from our chat group but don't actually. Yeah, haven't met all know. of them, yes. Yeah. So it'll be it'll be fun. And <clears throat> once again, it'll be fun. Yeah. So we'll just have to see how that goes. Yeah. And um, once again, we'll, I think because we'll be a bit more cognizant of the effect of the stress, we'll um, maybe take that into a bit more account. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, thank you for joining us. And um, I'm just hoping now you can feel better about some of your runs that haven't gone as planned. Um, yeah. yeah. So that was the That's pod. It. Yes. All right. Yeah. And um, just a reminder that you can go to the Peak Chocolate website, .com.au, um, and get 15% off. 15% is a decent amount off. Um, like I've said before, I use the same code to buy my chocolate from them, Isabel Ross. <clears throat> All capitals, Isabel with an O. Um, and honestly, it is such good chocolate. I know some of my friends who have started to buy it using that code, they're just buying it all the time now because they love it too. So get on board. <clears throat> um, and can't wait to see you next podcast. And who knows what that one will be about. <laughs> All righty. Enough about us. Right. Enjoy the rest of your run if you're listening to us on a run. Goodbye. Bye.